join me. If what I am doing is good enough, you have a choice to join me actively or passively. Actively, of course, by taking part, by making right statements and also by giving our best to the country. Of course, our prayers are also very important for the country in this particular elections of the parliamentary elections that we are going through. As we know, it's going to be a very historic elections which may perhaps alter the future of our country in a good way or perhaps in some other ways. So therefore, passively, each of you can join me by casting your vote, your precious vote, which nobody else enjoys it, only you enjoy it. And therefore, I would say that every one of us has to vote, cast our votes in this election. Otherwise, I would consider it a sin, a sin, because we talk big things that we are persecuted, the people are throwing stones at us, this is happening, this is happening. All this dialogue doesn't help unless we choose good people to take care of us. And by not casting your vote, you are as good as indirectly encouraging or electing people who are not good enough, who will give you trouble, who will give us trouble. So therefore, it's very important that you cast your votes. First of all, there are many among us who, knows, who know through the mobiles or computers, they can check where is your vote, where is your registration booth or etc. And accordingly we go and see. And on that particular day, don't take any other program, no marriages, no baptisms, no engagements. All of you be free to vote, cast your vote. As I said, if you don't cast, I will consider it as one stone thrown by you at one of our churches because you are going to see that wrong person is elected. Someone might ask, whom should we vote? Which party should we vote? Which person should we vote? I don't open my mouth because I am recorded everywhere. <laughs> but I say that we don't need all those gigantic, what we call, interpolations to know whom we shall vote. We should vote for those persons who are, first of all, secular. Secular. A secular person is one who respects everybody, the young, the old, the different religions, etc. The secondly, we should vote for the person who is non-communal. You know what is communal and who are communal. So therefore, we should vote for those people who accept all the religions. We are brothers and sisters. We may be of different religions, Christians, Muslims, the Hindus, Parsis, but we are all children of this motherland that's called India. Thirdly, we should vote for those who have respect for the constitution of India. That is a sacred book for us. So those who accept the constitution, the tenets of the constitution, the freedoms, the rights, the responsibilities in the mentioned in the constitution, they are to be voted. And finally, it's difficult to say, try to vote for those who are not corrupt. Nowadays we have to say less corrupt. So, so those who are secular, those who are non-communal, those who respect the constitution and those who are perhaps non-corrupt, we choose these, our candidates, we vote for them in order to get a good government and a good governance also. I, I hope all of you take this not only as, a, as an ordinary advice but a spiritual advice that comes to you because if you do not vote, you will be betraying us, every one of us. So therefore, please go home Call somebody, most of our youth know how to use the mobile. From the mobile you can check whether your vote is okay, whether vote is correct. Vote to you if you are not registered. Vote to you if you have lost your card. I do not know what to say. Only God will have to help you. Thank you very much.